Hello and welcome to PeopleSoft channel. Let's learn something new today. In the previous episode, I showed you how to create data source and run pivot grid analytics from scratch. Today, I will introduce you to more sophisticated data analytics tool. The tool name is Kibana. Kibana is an open source software, just like Elasticsearch. And the good news is PeopleSoft opened the doors to Kibana right out of the box from PeopleTools 8.58 which means everything is set up. All we need to do is just leverage it. And this emerging technology is used in big companies like Walmart, Netflix, LinkedIn, and the list goes on. So these are the three things I'm going to cover in this session. I'm going to show you the big picture where Kibana will come into picture in PeopleSoft. Next, I'll show you how to verify if Kibana is installed in your single user environment. If it is installed, is it up or down and how to fire Kibana? And lastly, I'll share you the pain points I encountered during the installation of Kibana. It sounds exciting, right? Without further delay, let's get started. Let's get started here. PeopleSoft is leveraging several open source applications to stay relevant and provide better services to the customer. The applications I am talking are right in front of you. They are Logstash, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. Let's understand each one of them irrespective of PeopleSoft application, what exactly they do. Let's begin with Logstash. Logstash collects the data from multiple sources and channel it to Elasticsearch. The data source can be anything. It can be a log file, it can be a PeopleSoft application, or it can be a SAP application, several applications. It collects the data and channels it to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch collects that information and stores in indexes so that it's easy to search and analyze. Kibana provides the graphical user interface for the data that exists in Elasticsearch. We can do different kinds of visualization for the data that exists in Elasticsearch. It would be very helpful to make business decisions. That's kind of a high level overview of what exactly each component of ELK stack does. Now let's try to understand the role of Kibana in PeopleSoft application. The diagram in front of you is PeopleSoft search framework. You should be familiar with this one because we referred the same diagram several times in this tutorial. We discussed at length how to transfer the data from PeopleSoft application to Elasticsearch server. Just like I discussed a while back, Kibana is used to provide the graphical user interface for the data that exists in Elasticsearch server. Good news is you can access those visualizations right within PeopleSoft application. You know that the data inside Elasticsearch server is not real-time data because every time there was a change in transaction data, that data needs to be transferred to Elasticsearch server by running index build process. Likewise, you need to keep in mind the data we are visualizing in Kibana is not real-time data. This is a kind of 10,000 foot overview of Kibana. Don't worry, we will get into details in the next episode. Since both Pivot Grid and Kibana are data visualization tools, it makes sense to compare both of them. Pivot Grid, we use it for real time analytics because the data source for Pivot Grid is PS Query and PS Query refers PeopleSoft tables. But in case of Kibana, it refers the data that exists in Elastic Search Engine. Next, we can do related actions in Pivot Grid. We can directly act upon Pivot Grid results. We cannot do that in Kibana. And next, we can trigger notification if the data reaches specific threshold in Pivot Grid. But that's not possible in Kibana. Now let's go through Kibana. Kibana has a very large library of visualizations when compared to Pivot Grid. And also, it can process large amounts of data very quickly. Now, let me quickly show you what kind of visualizations we can do with Kibana. I just logged into Kibana website. Here you can see different visualizations that can be done using Kibana. Pretty complex visualizations. Check it out guys. Now let's talk about Kibana installation. Kibana is delivered with PeopleTools 8.58. I have accessed Kibana from both of these environments, both of these are single user environments. When I installed this single user environment, PeopleSoft automatically installed Kibana for me. I did not do anything in this case. But in the second case, Elasticsearch was installed, but I have to install Kibana manually. 
I'm not sure if I did anything wrong, but I did manual installation of Kibana. I will talk in a bit the issues I faced during the manual installation of Kibana. Now, let me show you how to verify if Kibana is installed in your environment. After you fire up your single user environment, I'm logging into PeopleSoft server. After navigating to this path, if you see Kibana folder, it means Kibana is installed in your environment. Now let's see if we can access Kibana. In order to access Kibana, first you need to know the details of Kibana server. To get those details, I'm logging into PeopleSoft application. Navigate to People Tools, Search Framework, Administration, Search Instance. Click Search and here you will see the Kibana server details. Let's use these details and try to log in. I'm copying the host name, pasting in the new tab. And I'm giving the port number 5601. Click enter. Looks like Kibana is down. Let's bring it up. Before even we fire up Kibana, we need to make sure Elasticsearch server is up and running. We can check that by pinging the host name. It looks like Elasticsearch server is down. Like I said, there is a dependency for Kibana. Before we fire up Kibana, Elasticsearch server should be up and running. Let's go ahead and bring up the Elasticsearch server. I'm logging into PeopleSoft server. I'm logging as root. This is my single user environment. We need to log in as ESADM1 in order to fire up Elasticsearch server or Kibana. Let me switch the user to ESADM1. Let's navigate to Elasticsearch server folder. Navigating to pin folder. Now I am firing up Elasticsearch server. Now let's go back and check if Elasticsearch server is up or not. Looks like Elasticsearch service is up and running now. Now it's time to fire up Kibana. I'm using the command control C. Let's navigate to Kibana folder. I need to move one folder up cd dot dot. Let me go one folder up again and let me navigate to Kibana folder. Again, we need to navigate to bin folder just like Elasticsearch service. Now I will run the command to fire up Kibana. That's it. Now Kibana should be up and running. Let's go check it out. Now if you fire up the same URL, bingo, now you can see the login screen of Kibana. Let's go ahead and log in. That's it guys, Kibana is up and running now. In the next video, I will show you how to manually install Kibana. That's pretty much about it for today guys. For more interesting content, don't forget to visit my channel. I look forward for your feedback. Based on it, I refine myself and try to come up with the content that adds value to your skill set. Through this video, if you learn at least one or two new points, I feel all my effort is well worth it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow my videos. Let's stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, signing off. Siva Koya, your PeopleSoft partner.